I got a bunch of these baskets at Target for like $10. They were on clearance. So I am going to paint it with DIY paint and add the new DIY paint brush, the multitasker. I am spraying it really well with my continuous mister. I just want to get the paint all over. I don't really want it all even, but I want it to look like it's whitewashed. So I am just really getting those bristles in there. The multitasker is loaded with bristles and it's super soft. So it's great for pretty much any project where you just need to spread a lot of paint at once. So I am just keeping that mister nearby and I am just spreading it. I'm gonna repeat the thing, same thing on the other side. I don't want the paint necessarily evenly applied because I feel like if it's old and the paint's wearing off, it's just um, going to look old and chippy and I just want the paint covered. Now for the fun part, you're gonna use an old drop cloth or you could use any kind of heavy duty muslin or old fabric. Uh, this one is well loved, but I'm using the non-paint side. You could get some aggression out. Oh, I have any, but I like the way it's fraying at the edge here. So I'm as much as I can because hopefully maybe I'll use it for another one. The thing with drop cloths too is that they are full of these little seams. They're not really meant for upholstery, but, or for craft projects. But then a lot of things I use are not meant for upholstery or craft projects. I'm going to now cut along that seam there. This will tear much easier. I know there's a sewing term for this, but I can't remember. I'm on the bias, on the selvage. Somebody help me out here. Okay, so now I've got this big sheet. I'm gonna take this one off on this side. I love the way it's fraying. I want it nice and shabby frayed, and that one's not gonna tear so well, so I might have to just cut that or try in a different spot. After I got my pieces ripped, I cut them into smaller pieces and frayed the edges. I'm using the IOD Stamp Rose Twall. It's one of my favorites. So I lay it down and then I put the ink pad upside down and ink it this way. I find that way easier. I want to use another part of that stamp because it's so big and I wanted to make a bunch of these at once. So I'm repeating the process, just inking up my stamp and then repeat the process of turning the stamp over, placing down firmly over your paper, or in this case, your drop cloth. Make sure it's all totally flat, and then just apply firm and even pressure. So I want to show you how to ink up your pad. So I'm using the IOD ink. When you need to refill your ink pad, just go back and forth in two directions. Don't go all the way to the edges. I like to just stamp off a little excess before I go ahead and put it on my stamp. For this one now, I'm using the Kindest Regards stamp. This is a beautiful love letter and I find using just like random pieces of it makes things so beautiful. So I'm doing the same thing, I've got that scrap cut out. I'm going to go straight down with my stamp. I'm going to not move it around because I don't want to get any shadows. And then I'm using the tips of my fingers to really make sure all that detail gets in and I'm pushing pretty firmly. Do so you want to make sure you have applied pressure to all the places that you put the ink? And then when you are ready, pull your stamp straight up. You don't want to move anything because then you'll get what we call ghosting. Okay, so I'm going to show you how that one came out. I love it. I think that's beautiful. I'm using another part of Kindest Regards because you can get so many looks with one stamp. So I'm just repeating this process. Make sure you are pressing down and lifting up straight. To set the ink, Iron it on hot with the steam function off before you move on to the next step. 
It's time to adhere this and basically decoupaging that scrap of drop cloth onto my basket. My favorite decoupage medium is DIY paint clear liquid patina. It will decoupage anything. I've used it with all kinds of heavy duty and lightweight fabric and paper. So I'm getting the back of that piece really wet. Now I'm getting my basket and I'm just gonna place it down. You're gonna use a very generous amount of the decoupage medium here because again that fabric is thick and you're working with a flexible basket but trust me once it is in place it's on and it's on there good so I want to make sure I get all the threads as well because they will dry stiff and then you don't have to use something like fray check it's done and dry once you have it in place be sure to use your fingers and really make sure it's stuck I'm gonna trim off that thread after Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, leave a comment, and subscribe. It helps me bring more content to you of how to make over your old stuff.